Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace. If you are new here, if you can't tell already, I am currently home for the summer. Today is, let me look at the day, I don't even know. Today is Tuesday, May 16th. I've been home for about a week now for the summer and I'm done with finals, done with school, all of that stuff. So I am officially a senior in college, which is crazy. But like I mentioned in my last vlog, I'm going to Cabo at the end of this month with a lot of my girlfriends. I'm so excited. So this vlog is actually gonna be a pack and prep with me vlog for that trip I leave on Sunday. And I kind of have a lot to get done before then. I'm about to go get my nails done because they are absolutely tragic. They are officially like four weeks grown out today. I looked at my Snapchat to see when I got them done and it was literally a month ago. So, so that is number one on my agenda is to get these done. I think I'm just gonna get another pink color. I got the prettiest pink color for my spring break nails and I'm actually gonna go to the same place that I got those done. So I think I might just get that color again. It was the prettiest pink ever and it lasted me so long because I feel like when I get the funny bunny bubble bath like these are right now they kind of get like to where you can see through my nails if you know what i mean like they kind of fade um but the pink that i'm talking about that i got over spring break did not fade and my nails literally look so good for a month or longer so i think i'm gonna get that color again on my nails and just do gel you guys already know i do gel on my regular nails these are my real nails and yeah they're very long right now i'm gonna get them cut a bit shorter but still keep like the almond shape because you guys know that's what i like so so that's on the agenda for today it's really cloudy it was raining this morning but i'm hoping the rain is done because i like don't want to get my hair wet right now um but what else do i have to do before i leave i getting nails in today i have a pedicure on thursday because my toes also need to be done very bad. I had thought that I booked my next hair appointment for this week, but it's actually not till June 1st. So I kind of messed up on that. I meant to book it for this week, so it would be like freshly done for Cabo, but, but honestly my hair still looks fine from the last time I got it, so it's not that big of a deal, and my hair's gonna be wet for a lot of the trip, so I don't really care that I'm not getting it done before. And then I need to go to Target at some point this week because I need sunscreen, deodorant, and like travel size things because I forget that when you go out of the country, I feel like it's so much more strict and like all of your products need to be like super small. So I'm gonna try to compact all my items, especially my toiletries as much as I can. I feel like clothing won't be that big of a deal because I'm obviously gonna be wearing a swimsuit pretty much the whole trip and then obviously dinner outfits too. So I feel like the packing won't be too stressful. I just hate packing and I feel like I overwhelm myself anytime I have to pack for a trip. But I'm gonna take you guys along my packing process and I'm gonna try on all of my outfits that I'm planning on wearing for you guys too so you can see. Because I always love when the creators that I watch try on their outfits before they pack them like for a vacation. So I'm gonna show you guys all my outfits that I'm very, very excited about. So yeah, that's pretty much what this vlog is gonna be. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's around 1 p.m. now. I've just been sitting in my car forever because I dread getting my nails done. I hate sitting there and I just wish that I could like drop my hands off and leave and come back and get them. But I brought my AirPods so I'm just gonna listen to music and maybe try to edit a TikTok or something. And then I wanted to talk about this t-shirt that I'm wearing. I just got a couple in from Elle Wood. I can't remember if I showed you guys on YouTube but I know I showed you on TikTok in a vlog. But I recently discovered this brand from Rachel Ottenreath. You guys already know that I'm completely obsessed with her and I'm gonna buy every single thing that she wears, every single thing that she recommends I'm going to purchase. So so she talked about these tees in one of her videos and I thought they were so cute and they're honestly really affordable too I think it was like 70 for two or less than 70 honestly um, and I got this blue navyish color and then I got a dark gray as well and I got them in a large which honestly I definitely could have done a medium and I think the next time I buy and I'm gonna get a medium just because the arms are huge on me and I kind of look like a boy like from this angle So I think I'm gonna get a medium and I just wanted to give a little shout out because I'm obsessed and I want to order So much more from them. I know they have like sweatsuits sweat shorts I think they have like biker shorts a ton of stuff So and I love the neck area. It's kind of like ribbed and like cut if you know what I mean It kind of looks like a vintage t-shirt and I actually think that's what the t-shirt is called on the website is Vintage Tee. So I will link this t-shirt down below if you guys want to shop. Again, I'm wearing a large, but definitely don't get a large because it's huge on my arms. But it's still really cute, oversized, good t-shirt for the summertime. Oh, and then I also got this new sticky thing for my phone. I have been seeing these all over and I was like, I definitely need that for like my TikToks and stuff. You pretty much just stick it to like a mirror or a window and you can like film TikToks and stuff like that with your phone sitting up so you don't have to like set it on something because I always struggle, especially on vacation with finding somewhere to set my phone and I feel like this will be really good for Cabo as well. So I'll link this too. I got it on Amazon and it's already on my storefront too if you guys want to shop. I'm going to get my nails done and I will show you guys the color 
when I'm done. Ed Sheeran's new album is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Why do I just throw stuff in my car like with no place? This is why I have to clean my car out like five times a month because I just throw stuff. Rip to the hydro flask, you guys. I am full on Stanley. I don't even know if I can go back to the hydro flask, but I had this thing um, for my car, like the cup holder to fit my hydro flask. I don't really need it anymore, so I need to take that inside. Honestly, my skin is kind of skinning. I laid out a few days ago, and I swear the sun just like makes my skin clear, glowy, everything. The summertime just heals like everything, I swear. I'm finally back in the car that honestly kind of took a while. I feel like I forget how long it takes to soak off your nails if you still have like gel on them before you get them done. So that took a while and then I had to do three coats of the color that I got. The exposure is gonna be way too high to even see the color, but I got, oh there it is. But I decided against the pink that I was talking about before I went in because I realized that my Cabo outfits are kind of colorful and I feel like that kind of pink was gonna be too bold and just too much for my outfit so I got kind of scared and just did like a more pale pink. I believe it was D&D &D ballet slipper. It's a super pretty pale milky pink so I love them. I feel like especially when I'm going on a trip or something I always go for this color. Just a pale milky pink because you can really match anything with it and it goes with everything so. So those are the nails. I'm gonna go home now because it's almost three. Actually it is three o'clock now. I'm trying to decide if I should go get my car washed right now because I don't know if it's gonna rain again or not but my car is filthy. I have like bird poop, pollen, um, there's a new house being built near mine so there's mud all over the ground. So there's mud on my car and on my wheels and I just really really need a car wash but I really don't feel like going through that. But I could also go this week because I have to run errands anyway. So I think I'm gonna wait. I'm such a bad procrastinator with that kind of stuff. I just like can't get myself to go do that right now especially after just sitting in there for like an hour and a half another thing i've been procrastinating is going to urgent care and getting a steroid shot because i've had this cough in my lungs for honestly like three weeks now at this point and it will not go away i think it's like bronchitis or something both my parents had it like a couple months ago and this is like what they sounded like and it's also what their cough sounded like so i feel like i should go get a steroid shot before i go on my trip but i'm also like urgent care is always so long it always takes forever and i honestly don't feel bad so i've kind of just been putting it off but i don't i don't know if that's the best so i'm not sure what to do about that but that's also on my to-do list but i think i'm just gonna drive home right now and maybe do that later this week because it's only tuesday and i don't leave until sunday so i kind of have time um but i'm gonna drive home listen to ed sheeran's new album because it's so good and i'm excited because i'm actually gonna go to his concert in august he's coming to kansas city and I haven't been to his concert in like five years. I think the last concert I went to was in 2017 maybe. I've been to two of his concerts and honestly they're at the top of any concert I've ever been to. Given he is my favorite artist, like his show is just so wholesome because it's literally just him and his guitar and like no other background noise and he's just so, so talented. I feel like the crowd that goes to see Ed Sheeran is like a Taylor Swift crowd. Like the way that I feel about Ed Sheeran is how Swifties feel about Taylor Swift, if that makes sense. Like I love him and I know every single one of his songs and I will just never pass up his concert because it's just so so good he's so talented so okay and this clip is like eight minutes for what this is my vlogging just takes up so much of my day like, i love it but i just chat too much you guys Hi you guys, it is the next morning now. I just woke up a little bit ago, it's around 9.50 now. I've been laying in bed for like an hour just watching, um, catching up on some YouTube vlogs. And I just made my lemon water that I've been drinking every morning. I've been trying to drink hot lemon water in the mornings on an empty stomach um, because it's supposed to be really good for digestion and just your gut health overall. So, so for the past week and a half, I've been drinking warm lemon water every single morning and I swear I've seen a difference. 
and my stomach and just like bloating and all of those things so i highly recommend doing that if you've never tried it and i'm going to try to be really consistent with it this whole summer because i've seen such a big difference and lemon juice just has so many benefits so i'm going to try to be consistent with that but um in regards to packing and stuff today i don't really have much that i'm doing i'm going to a workout at 11 30 because i want to get in a few more workout classes before i leave i always feel like i do that before i go on a trip i always feel like i try to do as many workout classes as i can before i travel just because most of the time when i travel i don't work out sometimes i do but most of the time i don't so i like to work out as much as i can before i leave and then obviously have a break while i'm on vacation and then come back and get back into it but i think i'm going to spend today and then friday as well today's wednesday so i have spin class at 11 30 and then it's supposed to be really really nice today but i think it's supposed to be in the high 80s and super sunny so i think i'm going to go up to my aunt's pool with my cousin and layout before i go to mexico too just so i can get like a base tan i kind of already have one because i laid out the other day but i kind of just want to Get as tan as possible before i leave so and then i have a dermatology appointment today at three as well which is not exciting but um i have to go do that so yeah that's the update i think i'm gonna edit this vlog for a little bit before i have to get up and get ready for the workout class just so i can get ahead of editing before i leave because that's always like the hardest thing for me i love filming youtube videos but it's just the editing can take so long and honestly, it can be really overwhelming. So I try to do it in increments. And I've already started editing this. So I should be able to get it up before I leave. Or hopefully while I'm there, I can upload it. So I just want to say good morning. Happy Wednesday. Okay, I just finished my class and just got home. Um, weirdest thing, I actually have a call with um, a company in new york i don't know what it's going to be about a girl from the company emailed me and asked if i had time to chat today which i'm not saying it's going to be about an internship but i feel like i don't know why else she would want to talk to me like right now because in the email she was like give time to chat today or tomorrow um and i was like yes so i have that in like 15 minutes i have no idea what it's going to be about honestly if it's about an internship I don't even know what I'm going to do with my life because I have kind of planned out my whole summer at this point not having an internship there. Um, and I'm kind of going to have to like rearrange my entire life if I if she calls and tells me that I do have it. I don't even know if I'll go honestly because at this point I'm not sure where I would live, number one. Number two, I've already bought like, this is kind of like not a big deal but i've bought like concert tickets i don't know i've kind of just made like a ton of plans for the summer and i'm not sure if at this point it'd be worth it to go so it would kind of have to be a big offer and like something that i can't pass up for me to still go because ideally i would be having to move probably june 1st june 5th which is in like two weeks so who knows what this call is going to be about it could be about not an internship at all it could be about like um uh, maybe something post-grad or something like that but I just have no idea so it's in like 10 minutes so I'll tell you guys what happens after but why am I kind of nervous I mean if it's about an internship that's actually crazy that I'm just not hearing about it but my parents were saying that maybe someone um, couldn't do it anymore like they lost someone so they needed to hire someone quickly for the internship so I'm like it could go either way you know what I mean but I'll keep you updated I just got back from tanning and I'm currently doing a little haul for TikTok and I wanted to show you guys this new dress that I got in from Aloe. They were having their 30% off sale. I think it was their anniversary sale maybe um, and they like never have sales so I wanted to buy something and I have been eyeing this color on their website since it came out. I think it's called Midnight Green maybe. The exposure is not really showing the real color but it's pretty much like a dark blue greenish color if you guys know what i'm saying i'm gonna link it down below for you guys if you want to shop but i just wanted to show you guys because i feel like workout dresses are so good and so easy for the summertime i feel like i'm always wearing my workout rompers and like athleisure clothes all summer so i wanted to get a little workout dress because i know aloe's quality is so good and i already have a ton of stuff from them so i think it was originally like it was pretty pricey like 120 and i got it for 80 i think so still a pretty pricey item, but again, I know I'm going to wear it so much and it'll be so cute during the summertime with like a pair of sneakers or like even slides. So and I'm wearing a size small for size reference. I'm 5'8 um, and honestly, it's really long. Like I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit shorter even. So don't worry about the length if you are tall and have a long torso like me. 
So yeah, really cute little staple for the summer. And then I finally caved and got the Adidas Sambas. I know that these have like a lot of mixed opinions. I didn't know how to feel about them at first, but I've seen so many people and like my favorite influencers styling them and I feel like I can make them look really cute. I've already tried them on with a ton of outfits and for like street style, I feel like they're perfect with like jean shorts, a basic tee. And I feel like I'm gonna wear these a lot this summer just because I'm such a sneaker girl. You guys know I feel like I wear sneakers like every day and I'm constantly wanting more to just pair with everyday outfits so I can style them up, style them down, and I feel like these are going to be good for styling up or down. These are actually sold out on the Adidas website. I had my emails um, for notifications, but every time I would get an email, they would be sold out within like two minutes, so... I ended up just buying them on GOAT, so they are upcharged a little bit though on GOAT and StockX, so if you guys do want these, just know that you're going to be paying a little bit extra than what they normally are on the Adidas website, but I feel like they're going to be sold out for so long, so if you are wanting to get them, then I would just get them on GOAT or something, because they're so popular right now and I feel like everyone wants them, so I would just get them off of one of those websites. I'll link for you guys just so you know they do come in size men's so you need to make sure you're converting like women's shoe size to the men's size i'm usually a women's seven and i got a men's 5.5 in these sneakers so so just make sure you look your shoe size up and look at the conversion chart to make sure you're getting the right size that's pretty much it though for updates i look disgusting i need to wash my hair i just took a quick body shower because i have to go to my dermatology appointment right now um but when i get back i'm gonna do like hair wash i might even do a hair mask Cause my hair is looking just like not the best honestly i just got out of the shower i washed my hair because i did spin today so i was like sweating so much and i just lotioned all up because i was in the sun today so i always make sure to like lotion like my body like extra whenever i lay out in the sun because it's so drying but i'm gonna use some of this way leave-in conditioner post shower for a little hydration of my hair i just ran out of my r and co i'm not sure what the product was called but it was r and co it was like a cream for your hair and i loved it but i just ran out so i wanted to try something else it smells so good it honestly kind of smells like the hair mask because i also have the hair mask from this brand i always put the product on my hands first before i put it into my hair and then i try to only really put it on my ends because if i put it too high up my hair gets greasy my hair gets greasy after like any any little thing my hair will be literally so oily so i'm just gonna do a little of that on the ends oh my gosh you guys it smells so good um yeah i guess i can show you guys the lotion that i just used and then i lathered this lotion all over my body it's the vaseline brand so i feel like it's super super hydrating and i love it it smells super good i think it's it says it's pure cocoa butter so i just get it from target it's like so cheap um, and I feel like that lotion is low-key a dupe for the Bum Bum Cream. I love that stuff too, but I kind of treat myself to that because there's obviously not as much in the container as there is in that bottle. Literally all I do after the shower, I don't really use that many hair products because I feel like the more that I use, the greasier my hair is. So I'll just use like a cream. Sometimes I'll use this Bond Protecting Hair Serum if my hair is like really, really dry but today it wasn't too bad so a little post shower routine currently and then i'll do my skincare later like before i go to bed i just got done at my pedicure i got a really cute pinkish purple color um i guess i can show you i don't really care about feet stuff but here's the color it's honestly coming up more pink um on camera than it is purple but in person it's more of a lilac like pinkish color so my dad is so funny. He thinks of the fact that I vlog myself and like talk to myself on a camera is so funny. Um, what was I saying? I just got a pedicure. That's pretty much it. So these are going to be probably my, this polish is going to be on my toes probably all summer because I just refuse to like go and sit there that long. I honestly don't really like getting pedicures. I find it super uncomfortable and boring. So probably won't get them done again until I go back to school, which is kind of concerning but i don't really care i'll just like clip my toes whenever they get too long but but yeah i haven't talked to you guys today it's thursday now so i leave in three days i guess from today which is crazy and i'm so excited i cannot wait to be on the beach with a drink in my hand and just relaxed and zen i've had something in my eye all day and i seriously cannot get it i think it's an eyelash i can't find it in my eye 
Oh, this is the new house that just got built next to me or across from me. It's really cute. And that's why there's mud all over the street because they're like putting in, I guess, their grass right there. Um, but I got my car wash yesterday, as you guys saw, which was very much needed. And I actually really liked that car wash. They put like a gloss on my car after it was all done. And I've never really been to a car wash that does that. So my car is looking so clean and shiny. I don't really have much of an update for you guys. I've just been chilling at home. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be really rainy. So I'm probably going to go to Target and get my errands done tomorrow. And then Saturday I might lay out for a little bit. And then I have to go up to St. Louis because my flight leaves at like 6 a.m. on Sunday. Which is going to be actually brutal. And then I obviously still need to pack. And I'm going to show you guys all my outfits. So I'll probably do that tomorrow too. Just so I can get packing done because I get kind of like travel anxiety a little bit. I've heard a lot of people talk about this like post-COVID. Just being kind of overwhelmed with the idea of traveling and missing your flight and all those things. So I just want to be prepared for all of that. Oh, I need like a new spot in my bathroom to film. Because it's either like you see only my face or you see only my outfit. So I don't really have much of an update for you. I've actually been in bed editing this video for like an hour and it's like edited all the way through besides the clips that I'm gonna be filming tonight and tomorrow. Um but yeah I've been editing so that's why I'm wearing these glasses. These are blue light glasses. I think they're from I think they're from Amazon but I'm not totally sure. I have like so many pairs of blue light glasses for no reason. I feel like I just always thought that I lost them and then I would buy like a two pack and now I have so many, so. But it's actually almost nine now, so I'm gonna get ready for bed. I have to film a video for a brand for a campaign that I'm doing. Um, it's a skincare brand, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then I have to film another one for them in the morning, so. But yeah, I just wanted to give an update. Um, I've been re-watching Stranger Things on Netflix because I ran out of shows to watch. Like, I genuinely don't know, like, a good long-term show to start right now. I wanted to do Gossip Girl, but since I wasn't going to New York, I didn't want to make myself sad because I'm dramatic so so now I don't know what show to watch I might start One Tree Hill again but I almost feel like that's a fall show I don't know I'm like kind of stuck right now so if you have any good long-term OG shows that I should watch um comment them down below because I'm in need of a new show I love watching shows like I always have to be watching one no matter what time of the year it is no matter how busy I am I I'm always watching a show, so. But I'm gonna get ready for bed, and then tomorrow, I kind of already said the plan. I think I'm gonna work out tomorrow, too. I'm gonna book a spin class. Ugh, I don't really want to, but I probably should. The studio here is just not as good as Cycle Bar in Columbia. Um, I live in a pretty small town, so we don't really have any good spin studios. Like, I don't have a dedicated spin studio anywhere, so I just take classes at this gym that's close to my house. They're not terrible, I just feel like the music obviously isn't up to date and there's like mostly older people in the class, which is totally fine. But the music and I feel like the movements are just kind of like, I'm a little more advanced than that. Okay, that sounded so weird. I'm not like super advanced with spin. I just feel like the movements that they're doing are pretty like beginner friendly and I've been doing it for like two or year and a half now. So basically what I'm saying is that I miss Cycle Bar and I don't have one here. So I kind of, it's hard for me to go to the classes here because they're just not my favorite, but I don't want to get out of the habit of spinning, so I think I'm just going to keep trying to do at least two or three times a week. So yeah, I'll just talk to you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I woke up. I did spin at 11.15, and now it's around 12.30, I think, and my mom and I are about to run to Target because, like I said, I need a few things for travel. I leave in two days for Cabo, so, and I think we're going to get Starbucks before because I need a coffee so bad right now but I wanted to show you my outfit because it was kind of cute. I'm just wearing this crew neck from Brandy Melville I think. Um, Lululemon Align biker shorts and then my new Sambas and this little hat because my hair is so sweaty from the workout. Also I love my new shoes you guys. I cannot wait to wear these all summer. I know there are so many mixed opinions on them but honestly I think they're cute and I have had so much fun styling them already. So follow my TikTok to see outfit of the days and stuff. I posted an outfit of the day wearing these yesterday, so I'm really exposing myself here, but this is what the corner of my room looks like right now. I haven't started packing yet, but I want to get all these boxes out of here before I bring out my suitcase and everything because 
I'm just gonna get so overwhelmed if I don't clean this up first. That's the cowboy hat that I'm gonna bring on the trip. It's been sitting there since I got home just so I can look at it and be excited. I think when I get home later, I'm gonna go through all of this and then maybe start packing. But if not, then I have like all day tomorrow to pack still. So I'm not in that big of a rush, but I just cannot believe that this is what my room looks like. Obviously getting PR packages is so awesome and I love it. And I'm so grateful that I get anything, but this is kind of the reality of it is that the boxes pile up so quickly and the products, there's just not enough room for all of the products that you get. So this is what my room tends to look like after I get a ton of packages. I use my gift cards like that, that I get from Starbucks. Okay, here is kind of the current situation. You guys kind of know by now how I do packing. I think I've made like two or three vlogs of showing you guys how I pack. Um, and kind of how I organize everything before I put it in my suitcase. So what I do is kind of go by category. So I have swimsuits up there. I have sleep clothes, lounge clothes. I need to get a few more things like sweatshirts, but I just haven't laid those out yet. Um, and then I have like cover-ups next to the bikinis, jean shorts that are also going to be paired with some of my outfits. So I'm going to keep those like to the side for right now. I have a couple tees to wear. These are my Elle Wood tees that I showed you guys that I'm actually obsessed with. I have a gray color and then this really pretty navy blue. Of course, I have my cowboy hat and then my carry-on that I need to pack as well. And then shoes are always my biggest issue when it comes to packing. I honestly never overpack my clothes because I plan out my outfits to a T. Um, but with shoes, I can kind of get carried away. I just love shoes and I feel like they can really make or break an outfit. So I always have to like force myself to condense my shoes so I'll have more room in my suitcase. But I honestly shouldn't have many issues because I feel like flip-flops and slides can be compacted better than like tennis shoes would. This is the current situation. I'm going to try on all of my dinner outfits because they're still hanging over there. And I'm going to show you guys. And she just has to be in the middle of it. Don't you always have to be in the middle of everything? She looks cute and innocent, but I'm telling you, once all of this comes out, she goes nuts. <sighs> so drama. I guess we can do a little Target snack haul. I thought you guys are going to laugh at some of my snack choices, but honestly, I'm very picky about like, what snacks I want and when I want them. And for the airport, these are always my picks. First up, we have Muddy Buddies. These are so good. If you guys like Puppy Child, this is pretty much the same thing. Just like little, it's like checks with peanut butter and chocolate. And then like powdered sugar on it. It's so good. Like, been my favorite snack since I was little. My mom used to make it. And I love this for the airport specifically. I recently discovered this at Target. It's called Tex Mix. It's pretty much like a little trail mix but it has like a chili lime seasoning on it and it is so good i feel like you guys just have to try it i don't really know how i'm gonna explain the flavor but if you have a target near you go get this right now it's so good and addicting next i'm not proud of this but i love these cheetos so much i used to get them all the time during quarantine i was eating these like a little too much um but i love these especially when i travel for some reason i always get these and then i also got some of these just so i can have in like the hotel and stuff i never know when i'm gonna like want snacks or be hungry or if like my friends are hungry or something so i'm gonna bring some of these too charlie she's always messing with something um and then i always have to have a like gummy candy and then a chocolate candy so i got the airhead bites let me show you on the back they're like this this candy is literally my favorite gummy candy ever. And I feel like not many stores have these, so when I find them, I have to get them. Especially in the airport and on the airplane, these hit. And then for chocolate candy, I always get M&Ms because I just feel like grabbing a few out of the bag on, on the airplane is just so satisfying and i love these so that was my little snack haul and then a couple other things at target okay this is so funny i was walking through just like the skincare like body care items or whatever through target and i saw this brand and if you guys know they had this brand on revolve and i could have sworn i was like how are they selling this at target for only five dollars because on revolve they're 35 dollars for one of these mats i was like oh maybe i'm thinking of some other brand so i looked up loops on revolve and they are literally still selling them for 35 dollars and i found these at target for five so if you've ever wanted to try these out at revolve 
but don't want to spend $35 on one face mask. They have them at Target, so I got two of them to try out. I guess I should have looked at my appearance before I started this clip, but, but I haven't washed my hair since my workout, which is actually gross. It's like 5 p.m. now, and then I just got some more gum to put in my carry-on as well. I always have to have gum on me. No matter where I am, I have it in like every single bag that I own, so I got some more gum for... But here we go. I decided that I'm just going to show you guys the outfits tomorrow because it's already 5 and I'm supposed to go eat dinner with my family. So I need a shower and get ready for that now. Um, so I will just talk to you guys tomorrow, try on all my dinner outfits and show you guys. Um, I was going to say I would try on my swimsuits, but honestly, I just find that weird. And I've already posted in like all these swimsuits. I didn't buy any new ones for this trip. So if you want to see them on, then I would just go to my Instagram. Because I think I have a picture in every single one of them on my Instagram. So I'm just going to show you my dinner outfits. And then pack up the rest of my stuff. And I'll be leaving tomorrow. I'm not flying out tomorrow, but I leave to go to St. Louis tomorrow. And then we fly out early on Sunday. So I'm going to get in the shower though because I look tragic okay it's finally time to show you guys my outfits for cabo we technically have four nights there but i only got three new outfits to wear and then i think for the first night tomorrow i'm just gonna rewear a dress that i already have if you guys remember in naples i wore a maxi like silky blue dress that was so pretty so i think i'm gonna bring that and just wear that tomorrow night but i wanted to show you guys my new outfits that i got that you haven't seen yet the first dress and the one that i'm the most excited for is this rat and boa dress this is by far the prettiest dress i have ever put on my body and i honestly don't usually love maxi dresses on me even though i'm tall i just feel like sometimes they're not very flattering and it can look like a sack but i feel like this dress still flatters my body but it's also very loose and comfortable like i said this dress is from rat and boa and it is a very very pricey website just a warning i've wanted a piece from there for so long and i just could never get myself to justify buying something from there because i didn't really have anywhere to wear it to but i feel like cabo is the perfect place to wear rat and boa's things so so i caved and got this dress and honestly this dress compared to a lot of their things were a lot less surprisingly because i feel like it's one of the most gorgeous pieces on their website like this dress was still under 200 which i feel like for a maxi dress and for a really good quality dress it's not that bad um and i'm wearing a small for size reference and it fits really good it's honestly pretty long and i'm like 5 8 so if you're on the shorter side maybe don't get one of their maxi dresses they also have mini dresses if you guys like that style too um, but you can always get it hemmed if you are shorter than me. Honestly, I kind of wish I got it hemmed, but they're definitely meant to be super low to the ground and just like beachy. Yeah, I've been talking about this dress for five minutes, but as you can see, I'm in love with it and I cannot wait to wear it there and take pictures. And then I just have a little clutch that I'm going to pair with it. It's the Bottega dupe and the little black heels that are from Mango. So yeah. I will have all of these outfits linked down below too for you guys to shop if you have any summer travel coming up or you just want some new pieces for the summer so here is the first outfit okay this next outfit is honestly another favorite too i just feel like it's so me i love wearing like cropped shirts and then a baggy pant i kind of put this outfit together on a whim because i had a few others in mind but they just didn't end up working out so so i was looking on revolve and i kind of just put this together and bought it so so this little top is actually a bra um, it's from Lovers and Friends on Revolve, and then this little linen throwover is from Sunday's The Label on Revolve as well, and then these jean shorts are a goldie. And I got these jean shorts like two sizes up because I wanted them huge on me, and honestly they fit perfect. I love when jean shorts are huge on me, and like any pants are bigger than smaller on me. My biggest pet peeve is when pants are too tight on me, or like just right to where they're uncomfortable i hate that i would rather have them like three sizes too big than be tight at all so i always get my pants like super big and then these white pumps are from target they literally look designer but they were probably less than 30 dollars. and then i just paired it with this other bottega dupe that i have so so yeah i thought this was cute i know it's not everyone's style but i just love to crop things i love wearing kind of like a monochromatic look so the two pinks i thought were really cute together and i thought it'd be good for cabo so here is night two and then lastly we have this little dress which has actually grown on me a lot the only reason i didn't love it when it came in is because this area right here is like not stuck to my body i feel like it was kind of just a design mistake but the two sides don't really cling to my body and even if i was a size down i feel like it wouldn't really help anything like the material is just not like right for the dress but the design of it is absolutely adorable i love it this dress is from naked fashion or n-a-k-d fashion i'm not sure how people pronounce it but it's so cute their website has really good stuff for the summertime i was looking on it the other day 
and I might place an order for some summer things. But yeah, here's the dress. It's really cute. Like I said, I just need to fix this little situation right here because if I even go out to dinner, like my whole boob is gonna be out, so. And it's also quite short on me because every dress is always so, so short on me because my torso is very long. I'm not sure if you guys can tell in the vlogs, but I have long legs, but honestly, my torso like beats my legs by 100% and every dress that I buy ever is just so short on me, which is annoying because I feel like people always think I'm trying to make my butt out, but I'm like literally not ever trying to do that. I also don't have a butt, so that's never my intention, but it always like happens somehow, especially when I am drinking. So yeah, here's the third outfit. Like I said, I'm just gonna wear something I already have and that you guys have already seen for the first night we get there because it's gonna be more of a chill night. But yeah, here's the third and final outfit. All right, I'm all packed and ready to go. I'm about to head out. And then in regards to a Cabo vlog, I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can, but I'm not sure how much vlog footage I'm gonna be able to get for like a whole video. So depending on how much I get, I might just include some of the clips at the end of this vlog or if they're not at the end of this vlog, then they're gonna be in a separate vlog by itself. So just keep an eye out for that. I'm very excited and make sure you guys follow my Instagram and TikTok because I'm gonna be posting so much over there, outfits of the days, um, and just kind of more day-to-day -day content on there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little pack and prep with me vlog. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'm gonna be vlogging a lot this summer, so more vlogs to come. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.